since everybody seemed to love this border, I thought I'd just give it a little bit more of a closer inspection to see what's going on. So, first off, as you can see, it's attracting the world, right? We've got a nice little bee there. Um, but it's, there's, it's more quite in depth, this stuff. You've got the little stalks, the little poppies, and then you've got things like the Gypsophila here, or Gypsophilia, whichever you want to call it. Um, which is really pretty and from a distance, you know, it gives a nice little hue. Um, it's gradually increasing. I also threw in some other bits and pieces, some other seeds that I had left. So there are some other poppies there coming through um, that I haven't. And I, yeah, cornflowers here. So it's going to be quite an interesting mix. And then also, we've got the alliums behind that you can see are seeding, and I'll let them drop in uh, behind so they'll self-seed a bit. But I think actually it's doing pretty well, and I'm really impressed. It's really looking quite spectacular. And the other side of it, it's going to evolve as the year goes on. You know, obviously some things will die back, etc., and other things will come forward. Um, and it's quite easy as long as you've done your preparation and got rid of as many weeds as possible. You never get rid of all of them. As you see, there's, um, there's a south is sort of sitting at the back there and a dock behind it. Oh my goodness. But you just can, you know, you wait till they get to a certain height and they stick out like a sore thumb in this as long as you've done your preparation. But um, yeah, with the foxgloves behind and the pleach lines, um, I think it's... Uh, coming into its own. Anyway, thanks. Bye.